Baker's Roll here with Tuesday's maths lesson today and we are going to start off without a starter today. We are just going to go straight into our learning and today we are learning to find a fraction of a number. Now I know that yesterday we were learning to find half and find quarter of a number of squares and colour them in in different ways and today we're going to be building on that with finding fractions of numbers. So, just a quick reminder about halves and quarters to begin with. Remember, a half is two equal parts. It's where you split a shape or split a number or a number of objects into two equal parts, two equal groups. And it must have the same amount on both sides. That is the important part, is the equal. Quarter is where you are splitting something into four equal parts. So again, they must all be the same. And we are going to touch a little bit on thirds as well today. So, when we're finding half, we are actually dividing by two. We are splitting it or sharing it into two equal groups. Now, we could draw it like this, or there is something else that we can use for when we're making equal groups out of a whole. I wonder who can tell me what that is. Well done if you said we could use a part whole. So, I got a part, part, whole here, and you could have it either way around. I've shown you both ways here, just to remind you. So your whole would go here. So in our question, six divided by two, half of six. Six is my whole, and then I would share out the dots. So my six would go here, and then I'd share out six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And there are three in each part. This part is three and this part of, is three. So half of six is three. And I could use it this way round as well, where your whole would be here and your two parts are here. And I could do my dots to work it out, but I won't worry about doing that now because I've just worked it out here. So that's, oh dear. There we go. So that's halves, and we can still use our part, part, whole for quarters. But how many parts would I need if I'm sharing into quarters? Maybe the picture here or here will help you. Well done if you said into four parts this time. We've got one, two, three, four. So this time, our part, whole has our whole and then one, two, three, four parts. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. So here, we've got the question eight divided by four equals two, because eight shared into four groups into quarters is two. So if I was going to do it on my part whole, I would put eight here, because that's my whole, and then I'd share out my dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just check it, I can see there's two here, two here, two here, and two here. So I can see that each part is equal, each part has two, so quarter of eight equals two. Each quarter has two dots in it. So if we have a look at one example here, so my number of parts is shown at the bottom of my fraction on the denominator. Now we don't need to know that word in year two, but it's useful to have heard it before. So the denominator, the bottom of my fraction, shows me how many parts I need in my part whole model. And then this one here is my whole. That's what I'm sharing out, that's what I'm splitting. So I want half of eight. So I've got my part whole model drawn here. I've got my two parts. My whole is eight, so now I need to share eight out between two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how many are in each part? I can see there's one, two, three, four here. One, two, three, four here. So half of eight equals, well done, it equals four. So. I'm going to have a go at the next one now, and I'm going to move on to doing quarters. 
So maybe once I've read the question out, you want to pause the video and have a go at working it out yourself before I show everybody how to do it. So this time we've got quarters. So the number of parts is four. I've drawn my four parts onto my part hole. So quarter of eight. So remember eight is my hole. So if you want to have a go before I show you the um, answer, please pause the video now. Okay, so my hole is eight. So I know that I can fill that bit in here. That's a nice, easy part to do. Now I need to know what the parts are. Now you might know what the answer is already, and that's okay. But I would like to see what you have done in your head to work it out. So maybe you used your knowledge of multiplication, maybe you used dots, maybe you just happen to know how many somethings go into eight. Um, four times. So I'm going to use dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can see there's two here, two here, two here, and two here. So quarter of eight is two. So well done if you worked out the answer that quarter of eight equals two. So half of eight equaled four, and quarter of eight equaled two. I wonder if anybody notices a link between those two things. Well done, if you spotted, imagine I did a pizza, and I had eight somethings on there. If I split it in half, we have four on each side. Maybe they are mushrooms on my pizza. So we find half by splitting in two. And I can actually split that half in half again to find quarters. And now I can see there's two each. So half was, two, uh, was four and quarter was two. So well done if you spotted that link. And the final one for us to have a look at today, this time is thirds. So remember, this uh, denominator, the bottom of our fraction, shows us how many parts that we need. So this time we've got three parts in our part hole. Can you find a third of six? So pause your video here if you want to have a go. Well done. So now it's my turn to just reveal the answer. So my hole is six, and I'm going to share it between three parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's have a look at how many are in each part. I've got two dots here, two dots here, two dots here. So one third of six equals two. So remember, when you're drawing your work piece out, don't do massive dots inside your part hole because you will run out of space very, very quickly. And also don't make them too small so that you can't actually see the dots. It's very difficult to count them if you go to greater numbers and the dots are too small. Okay, so today let's look at our wealth. What am I looking for? I can share into the correct number of groups. So you're going to have to draw your part whole model, most of you. I can draw the part part whole model. So please make sure that you are drawing it, make sure it's nice and clear, make sure it's not too big, make sure it's not too small. And then there's a challenge here that I can count the correct number of groups. Now that is linking with our challenge today, which are some word problems. So if you are doing the easier sheet, you have got four questions to answer. Two of them, I've drawn the part whole for you, and I've given you your hole at the top. The third question, I have drawn your part hole, but I haven't put the hole in for the question here. Your fourth question, I haven't drawn anything, so you're going to have to show me your part hole to show me that you've understood it. Then I've got two word problems still involving finding half of a number, and then your challenge is moving on to finding quarter. Now, if you are doing the main and challenge activity, You've got the number 18. Can you find half of this number? Can you find a third of this number? Can you find a quarter of this number? So can you show me how you would do each of those? Do they all work? Because some numbers they will work for, some numbers they won't work for. Then, now repeat this with your own numbers. So now you can pick which numbers you want to investigate. Which numbers can you find half, quarter and a third of? 
You might find some numbers that you can only find half of, but you can't find quarter or you can't find a third. There might be some that you can only find thirds of and not halves. So can you find some numbers where you can find half, quarter and thirds? And then you've got a challenge here, which are some word problems for you to solve. And these two questions here are the ones where you need to look very carefully at counting the correct number of roots. So you've got some slightly trickier fractions. Now, if you find all of that way too easy today, then I have got one final extra challenge for you to do on our video. And it says, I'm thinking of a number. One third of my number is 12. Which will be greater, one half of my number or one quarter of my number? Use cubes or a bar model or a part whole. Part, part, whole. To prove your answer. So I don't just want an answer and a yes or no. I want you to show me it. You need to convince me and prove to me that you are right. So good luck with all of your maths today and looking forward to seeing your work.